Hi everyone. So today we are going to see a question from SAP GRC. What are configuration parameters in SAP GRC? So this is very very important from all the configuration point of view because we have several parameters in SAP GRC related to each and every component like access control especially most of the access control parameters are controlled from here access control has four components uh, access risk analysis emergency access management business role management and uh, access request management so there are parameters related to each and every area so let us look into that parameters first of all what is the path where how to go to that parameter uh, configuration parameters so this is the path you have to follow spro grc access control and then under access control maintain configuration parameters let us go into that going to transaction spro sap reference img under that grc under access control maintain configuration settings yeah so this is a list of configuration settings we have here so let me show you here the first column indicates a parameter group all the parameters in this are divided into certain categories these are different categories you can see this is one category called change log then we have a category called mitigation mitigation comes under access risk analysis risk analysis itself is one of the component and then you have uh, risk analysis pool spool is related to the printer options then workflow related uh, which comes under all your access request management and these are emergency access management related you have UAR review related. This is one of the workflow in your performance related risk analysis access request role management. So if you look into this, basically, these are the different parameters categories we have. So first thing is you should choose which parameter uh, or which parameter you are focusing on. OK. So first of all, you, if you want to filter, you can go to the filter option here, risk analysis. And then you can see all the parameters related to risk analysis. And then you can concentrate on them, basically. OK. SAP is delivering these parameters standard. But we may need to change the parameter values according to the customer requirement. So we have an SAP delivered document. So I think you will you can get that in the in uh, net internet. When you Google it, you will get definitely get the document of related to AC AC configuration settings, uh, AC configuration parameters. In that parameters document, he will give you the details about. Uh, so let me search for it. Yes, so you can see there is a document here. <laughs> Maintaining configuration settings in access control. It is a PDF. So then this is related to 10, I guess. You will also get related to 12 if you search properly from the configuration guides and installation guides, which you download from the SAP marketplace. But this PDF will explain you especially whatever the PDF may be it is a old version or new version It explains you about the parameters and then also Category wise, what is the default value delivered by SAP? and what is the 
importance of the default value why it is the default so by default in your system those defaults will be there these are all sap default values unless and until if they have changed by somebody else here this is the parameter and this is represented by parameter id and then the value every parameter will have a values of it so for this parameter i have two values yes and no so you can choose from here the value and this is the description of the parameter okay so let us go back and check if i have got the pdf yes so this is related to 10.1 old document but here you can see some parameters are newly added modified parameter so whatever the changes have been made i think they have concentrated on that yes so here you can see topic wise we have change log mitigation risk analysis for example if i go to yeah this is a good document where it will affect where that parameter will also get will be affecting your change in the system for example i take it here 1011 parameter the default expiry time for mitigation control assignment it is 365 days so when you are assigning any uh, control mitigation control to any user that mitigation control assignment will be given for 365 days by default so organizations can make a decision here whether you want to change this value you have to define this 1011 and then you have to change this parameter like six months suppose if you say six months you have to change it to 180 or three months 90 days accordingly so like this if you go through this document you will get an idea about what are the parameters and what are they important for and whether you need to change the value or not so topic wise there are some important parameters from the systems perspective so some questions they can ask you in interview also especially emergency access management related they are very easy to remember because all of them will start with 4000 series they do not occur in any other series all of them have the 4000 series so starting from here to here if you see all the emergency access management related stuff up to 4020 parameter all are 4000 series so it is easy to remember so each component has some important parameters so that we have to discuss when topic wise comes up so that is where we have to remember those parameters maybe you need you may not need to memorize all of them but definitely you need to have an idea there is one parameter related to this and that can be modified and accordingly our data has to the configuration can be done if you are not aware that the parameter exists then you may not get the feeling at all or that whether the whether this is possible or not so if you have an idea of all the parameters it will be helpful to you in future for whatever configuration you do in the system okay right so that's all about the parameters point of view so maybe we will discuss the uh, component wise parameters later in the separate class in a separate session like uh, parameters related to risk analysis parameters related to emergency access management all those stuff in a separate sessions so it would be easy for you to separate them and memorize them okay thank you everyone we'll see you again in next session